part two, love you back. The second meaning is how God loves us, how he loved us back from being lost eternally, from eternal damnation. He loved us back if we accept his love. And with that said, I want to just tell you that some people believe in God. They believe that there is a God, but they don't believe that God has the power to heal and the power to do miracles. And so I want to encourage you, maybe you need to believe in a new God. If your God cannot do miracles, if your God is not greater than anything in this world, if the God that is in you is not greater than anything in this world and can't see you through it, then maybe you need to be Leave in the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Daniel in the lion's den, the God of the Son of Man who died on the cross, the Father. His son's name is Jesus. Maybe you need a new God. And so let me just say on my Fun Fitness Fridays, well, Yesterday was Friday, but it was not so fun. Let me tell you what happened. Have you ever had something happen to you so quick and so fast? You not only didn't have time to prepare, but you didn't even realize what was happening until it was over. Yesterday, I was completing a task. And as I turned around to walk away, I found myself getting up off the floor. And I hit the floor pretty hard. And I'm so glad that I didn't get hurt. I did have a little burning sensation in my pinky toe. But I realized, oh my goodness, I fell. And I can't remember the last time I fell until now, which was yesterday. <laughs> but I want to say this. I'm happy that I didn't expect it, that I wasn't looking forward to it. And that I didn't know that I was going to fall. Sometimes there are things that we want an advance notice for. We want to be able to prepare for it. We want to know it's coming. And sometimes it's not the best thing to know when something is going to happen. Because instead of living in the moment that we're in, we'll be worried about what might happen tomorrow. And God does not want us to worry. So that's why God, I believe, does not allow us to know some things that are going to happen. And that brings me to my last comment, my Saturday Fuel comment. Since today is the Sabbath, and it's Saturday where the Sabbath is over, but it's my Saturday Fuel message, I want to end with this. And I hope that this year and all the things that I have talked about during this year and have tried to roll or model a role, be a role model or just um, the example of has been a blessing to you. And I want to end this video with this last thought. God knows what's best for us. And when we believe in him, not just that he exists, but that he is actually going to come through for us. When we know we don't see the way, we don't know how it's going to work out, but we believe in God. And we can say, God, I know that you can do this for me. I wouldn't be praying to you if you couldn't do this for me. I wouldn't be believing if you couldn't do this. You've done it in the past for others. And this thing right here, maybe you haven't done in a long time, but I know you as God of wonders and miracles and I know you God that will never leave me and God that it has favored me and always has and always has my back so I want you to be encouraged to believe so what I'm going through I learn to let go and let God and that's easily said but it's hard to do but when you have that type of faith I said God I'm so proud of you when he does things for me. I say, thank you, God. He's, he's been showing up and showing out. And I just focus on what my job is. 
My job is to not know how God is going to work it out, but to know and understand that he will. And even if he doesn't work it out the way I want it to, here's an example. I needed some money to do some things for um, a special person and their insurance would not cover it because of the way I was going about the circumstance. So I asked a loved one to cover me and I would return the favor. I would return it and they said no by choice. But I didn't fret. I was a little uneasy about it because I thought that person really could have done that. But because that person didn't do that, I went ahead and sought another way. And that other way was actually the best way for me. It was the best way for everybody. So with that said, remember, all things work to the good of those that love the Lord. Sometimes it's not meant to be. That way that someone else could have done so easily was not God's will. And that's not what it was meant to be. And so when that happened that way, I understood that. So I just want to encourage you. When you believe and trust in God, the answers will come as the problems are presented, not before, not necessarily after, but during that next step. So we're just going to take it a day at a time, a challenge or a problem at a time, and we're going to focus on the goodness because even when things are going bad, God is still doing things. He's still working. He's still working things out. He's still showing up. He's still answering our prayers. He's still comforting us. He still has the power to heal. He still has the power to hide us and shut doors and open doors and to keep things just for us. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. Believe in God and believe in yourself. As I end this video, Thank you once again so much for watching my videos. Have a blessed Christmas and a happy new year 2022. God is good. Keep the faith. Meet your deadlines. Do as much as you can while you can. You don't know if you're going to be here tomorrow, but you have today. So with that said, God bless you. And in the words of my little cousin, believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Joan, 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 Jonah, I will never forget that. I remember we went bowling, and as I began to walk up to, to throw that ball out, I heard a little voice, and I didn't expect it, saying, believe in yourself, believe in yourself. And I, will ne I don't forget that, and it reminds me, I remember it sometimes when I need it the most, and I just want to pass that along to you. God bless you. Thank you so much.